what I'm about to say will definitely blow your mind away. Now, you get ready for it? Now, understand that, uh, now, this is the statement. Understand that uh, the greater the visibility, the greater the vulnerability. I will say that again. Write it down. The greater the visibility, the greater the vulnerability. What do I mean by that? Understand that the more God lifts you up, the more you are open to greater temptation. The more you go up in your ladder of promotion, the more you go up in your ladder of fame, your more, the more you go up in the ladder of your glorious living, you are vulnerable to temptation. And if you don't be careful, the devil will refute you down. The devil's determination is to put you down. And so the first test when God begins to bless you is the test of prosperity. You and I know that uh, your testimony is the most important thing that you need on planet Earth. The day you lose your testimony, I'm telling you, you will lose virtually anything. And sometimes what you've worked for for a century, uh, the moment you lose your testimony, what you've worked for for years and years and years, if you don't be careful, everything will just go down. And that is why it is good for you and I to maintain our testimony. You know, our te the Bible says we overcame him, who? The devil, you know, by the word of our testimony and the blood of the Lamb. So our testimony is a weapon to overcome the works of darkness around us. That is why the word that comes out of your mouth is so important. Because that word is part of your testimony. That is why the way you live your life is very important. Because Jesus Christ himself says, we are the light of the world. You know? And we are also the salt of this world. And so your testimony, saints, is very important. You know? And I know this will blow your mind, too. You know, the fact that uh, you are a, Grish, a Christian, you are a target for the devil. Definitely, you are a target for the devil. And so the devil goes after you. Now, we went through, we're talking about the test of our testimony. The next, and uh, now, under the test of our testimony, our first test, we said, the test of prosperity, right? Now, that is from verse 1 to verse 6 of Genesis chapter 39. The next test, as a Christian, after the test of your testimony, the test of your pro test of prosperity, the next test is the test of purity. The test of purity. Let me read for you. <laughs> you know, let me read for you. Um, Genesis chapter 39, from verse, uh, from verse 7. And it came to pass after these things that his master's wife cast longing eyes on Joseph, and she said, Lie with me. But the Bible says he refused and said to his master's wife, Look, my master does not know what is with him, what is with me in this house. And he has committed all that he has to my hand. There is no one greater in this house than I, nor has he kept back anything from me but you. Because you are his wife, how can I do this great wickedness and sin against God? The test of purity. The test of purity is the next test when God is lifting you up to, 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 to a higher platform. You know, in this case, the Bible says uh, that just uh, this, the wife of Potiphar looked upon Joseph. You know, let me be honest with you. If you are down there, people are not looking up. They're not looking to you. They don't care about you. But the moment God begins to lift you up, people's eyes will be set on you. You become a target. And one of the tests that you're going to face is the test of purity. And if you mess up in the area of the test of your purity, you mess up your integrity. And when you mess up your integrity, I'm telling you, you mess up your standard in life. And so the next test that this man faced, Joseph, as a young man, is the test of purity. Now, remember that uh, the Bible says, Polyphus' wife looked unto him. And you see that Joseph was very handsome. He was good looking. He was all that. He was very handsome indeed, the Bible says. And so the Bible says she wanted to lie with him. Now, since 
When you face the test of stupidity, the very best thing you can do, the Bible says, but you refuse. He refused. All you need to do is to what? To refuse. There are many times you face the test of purity. For you to violate, you know, you get the indulge from your flesh. Now, let me be honest with you. We have three enemies as Christians. You have the world, you have Satan, and you have the flesh. And how you fight Satan you fight Satan with faith. You know? You fight Satan with faith. Now, what, are, what do I mean? When the devil comes to you and says you are nothing, a person with faith will stand up and say, with Christ, I can do all things with Christ who strengthens me. When the devil comes to you, when the world comes to you with fear and cast fear in your life, you can say, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? When the, when the world comes to you and cast the impossibility and say you cannot make it, whatever your name, and say, Jane, you cannot make it, you know with the word of God says, with God all things are what? Possible. When the enemy, when the world cast all of the spell of darkness, you can even say, the Lord is my shepherd. And I shall not want. You can go on further and resign and say, even though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, hallelujah, hallelujah, I shall not fear no evil because you know that God is with you. So when the world system, the world system fights against you, you fight it with faith. Now the second enemy is Satan. When Satan comes after you, the word to fight Satan is fight. The Bible says, resist the enemy and he will what? flee away from you. The Bible says you have to bind the strong man before he even can get into his, his house. You know, the Bible says whatever we bind here on earth shall be what? Bind in heaven. Whatever we lose here on earth shall be lost in heaven. The Bible says we we'll wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principality and spiritual wickedness in high places. You know, and so to fight with the enemy, Satan, the word is fight. Now, the third enemy we have as Christians is the flesh. How you fight the flesh is to flee. And that's what Joseph did in this verse. The Bible says all he did, he refused. Are you willing to refuse when you face the test of purity? That's the question for you today. You know? Because, you know, let me be honest with you. God will put a test in front of you. And if you don't pass that test, you will not get to the next level. You know, a test will get you to the next level. A young man in the class, the elementary class, or in the first grade, he has to pass a test, the elementary test, before he gets to the second grade. And so each and every one of us, sometimes God will put a test before you.